Hey guys, what's up? If you can hear my TV, that's great. I'm gonna be playing Dental Crown Placement, so let's start. Let's start. Let's do this. Yeah. It, is it lagging? Is it lagging? No. No, this has never happened before. No. I'm defined. Okay, hold on. Hold on one second. Alright, let's try this again. Really? Really? <laughs> Still not loading. Still not loading. I am clicking. Clickety click click. Hurry the fuck up. Oh my god. Alright, instead we're gonna do dental filling. Because the other one's being a butt butthole. There we go. There we go. Now it's loading with the virtual baby. That That's normal. That is good. That is awesome. Welcome to Surgery Squad's virtual dental filling placement. I'm Dr. Jeff, and I'll be guiding you through this procedure today. Fillings are the most common and affordable dental restorative procedure for both children and adults. They're used to restore the function and integrity of missing tooth structure, commonly caused by tooth decay. By placing a filling, we reduce the amount of bacteria in a patient's mouth, extend the life of the tooth, and delay the need for additional dental work indefinitely. Our patient today has been experiencing some slight discomfort in their lower left first molar, or as dental professionals might say, tooth 19. Uh, oh, Before oh, we well, begin, so we need to get some x-rays taken of our patient's teeth. X-rays, or radiographs, are essential low-cost diagnostic tools used to examine a tooth's roots, check the health of the bone surrounding the tooth, observe the status of developing teeth, and find abnormalities such as cavities. Let's get started. First, insert a positioner into the patient's mouth. Alrighty. There's a little cavity. Next, position the x-ray cylinder where indicated. Clickety click click. Great. With the x-ray cylinder in place, we need to get behind our radiation barrier to reduce the amount of radiation we're being exposed to. And take the picture. Don't worry. The lead apron will protect our patient from any unnecessary radiation exposure. Sorry, I yawned. I couldn't have done it better myself. I'll have my assistant handle the other x-rays, so let's move on. With all of the x-rays completed, it's time to look for potential issues. When examining dental x-rays for cavities, look for hints of changes in the density of a tooth enamel or dentin. These locations will appear as darkened areas on an x-ray. This is because the decayed portion of the tooth is less intact and the x-rays can penetrate that portion of the tooth. Do you think our patient has a cavity? Yes, yes. I agree. Can you identify it on the x-ray? Barely a cavity. There it is. We need to get that taken care of as soon as possible. Not being gross Let's get or anything, started. but I have had Now that you've identified that. the cavity, we and need I to apply to a topical numbing gel to the anesthetic injection site to help reduce any discomfort the needle may cause. Clickety-click-click. Wipey-wipe-wipe. Next, we can administer the eye. local anesthetic. The patient will, at most, feel a slight pinch. Afterward, the area will become numb for hours, even though the procedure will only last a few minutes. Take the syringe and inject the local anesthetic into the patient's gums, okay. just below the tooth we'll be working on. Okay. Like, not being gross or anything, but, like, I have had bigger cavities than that. That's, like, minor and like, and now we'll give our patient a few minutes to become completely numb I've had them filled I like five fillings but that's because when I was littler I eat a lot of candy and now that yeah. our patient's mouth is numb we can move on to removing the decay to begin we'll need to isolate the tooth using a cotton roll this will give us some space to work Bloop. Ah, oh, squishy sound. Looks good to me. Dentists typically remove tooth decay with a burr inserted into a handpiece. I want to see. This is what most people refer to as the drill. Let me see. Prepare the area by using the burr to carefully remove all of the decay from our patient's tooth. Prepare your anus. No, I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh. I, okay. 
I remember when I was little, whenever that happened, I would be like, Now that the decay has <laughs> been like removed, laughing. we need to figure out which type of filling our patient wants, amalgam or composite. Both have their advantages and disadvantages. <sighs> amalgam fillings are more durable than composite, but they don't have yawning. a tooth-colored appearance like composite fillings. They also often require a larger portion of the tooth to be prepared in order to retain the filling. Composite fillings are much more aesthetically pleasing and require less drilling than amalgam, but they can be a bit more expensive. Um, this one or this one, this one or this one, this one or this one, this one or this one. If I'm going to have this kind of color filling, then you're going to have that kind of color filling too. Sounds good to me. Yep. Start by using this amalgam carrier to place the amalgam into the prepared area of the tooth. Blop. Oh, Next, yes, it's like, pack it's the like, amalgam into the prepared area using like the condenser. Squish, squishy, 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 squishy. Smooth the filling using an instrument called a burnisher. Squishy, 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 Fortunately for our patient, you did an incredible job. Thank you. And there doesn't seem to be any problems with the filling or our patient's bite. Since everything looks good, go ahead and polish the filling using a polishing instrument. Okay, polish the filling. I swear, I laughed every time they put like that. Like, All done. Like, everything looks that flawless. Thing in, in, on my teeth. After the procedure, our patient may experience some sensitivity but it should subside within one to two weeks. If it doesn't, they'll need to contact their local dentist office. There is also the possibility that the patient's bite may feel a little off, since being numb can alter their ability to bite normally. Once the patient regains feeling in their mouth, it is advised that they return for an adjustment if it feels like their bite is not normal. In effort to prevent future cavities, our patient will not only need to regularly floss and brush their teeth, but they'll need to ensure that they return to the dentist to have their teeth cleaned at least once every six months. It is also recommended that smoking is avoided since it significantly oh, contributes nasty. to the development of tooth decay. That's nasty. And that's a dental filling. You've done a wonderful job. You may want to go back and try out the other type of filling or why not try your skills in another surgery on surgerysquad.com. Alrighty. Well, that was Dental Filling. I hope you had fun watching it. I had fun playing it. Link will be down in the description below. And, yeah, I hope you guys liked it. And, yeah. Alright, bye, guys.